how much does it cost to live in Hamilton, Ontario? From the food, to the transportation, to the housing. As if you're thinking about moving to Hamilton, Ontario, you're probably curious of whether or not it's more affordable or more expensive than where you currently live and what do those bills look like when living there? Well, we're gonna be discussing all that and more in today's video. And the first thing you should know is that overall, Hamilton is about 16% more expensive to live in when you compare it to the average of Ontario. Ontario, with the biggest and least affordable expense being the housing here. So while the housing isn't the most affordable in Hamilton compared to the provincial average, when you compare it to the regional average or you zoom in and you look at how Hamilton compares to Burlington, Oakville, Grimsby and Milton, you can see that Hamilton is now looking a lot more affordable compared to the neighboring cities. So if you're interested in learning where the most affordable areas to buy real estate are in Hamilton, make sure you keep watching to the end. But if you're new here, my name is Matthew. I'm a local realtor and this is my channel where I share everything about what it's like living in Burlington in the surrounding areas like Hamilton. So if you're thinking about moving here and want more one-on-one -on -one help, feel free to send me a message. I'd be happy to help you out. So let's first dive on into the very first category, the food, and exactly what you should expect to pay when living here. So there was a recent study that was done that compared the groceries in restaurants in Toronto to Hamilton and found that the average price after a month of food in Hamilton was approximately 20% cheaper, allowing your dollar to go a bit further. Now, of course, this is one study that results are going to vary on what type of food you eat and how much volume you eat of it, but typically the average person to expect to be paying for groceries is between $75 to about $125 per week. Then if you're looking to eat out, you can expect to pay about 20 to $30 a person to have a nice breakfast out. Or if you're looking for a quick lunch, you can usually find lunch between 10 to $20 a person. Now you still have some of those local sub spots like Speedy Subs on the mountain, still offering you that $5 special foot long. But other than that, if you're looking for that three course meal with an app, two entrees and two desserts, you can typically expect to pay between 70 and a hundred dollars. Then if you wanted to add any drinks with your meal, then you can expect to pay between $8 for a beer and about $12 or $10 for a mixed cocktail. So when you're living in Hamilton to get to these restaurants or just to get around town in general, one of your other major expenses will be transportation. Now this is going to vary depending on if you own a car or if you don't own a car. So if you own a car, you can expect to pay $125 to $200 in car insurance per month, depending on your driving record. And then for gas prices, of course, these are going to fluctuate, but at the time of recording this, gas is leaning at about $1.60 per liter. So you can do the math, $1.60 times whatever size your gas tank is. And then if you're looking to park downtown, you can find some decently reasonable rates with one hour price being typically around the $2 mark to $1.25, where the daily maximum price in the majority of Hamilton parking lots is $10 a day unless it's on some special events where they might bump it up to $20 a day. So if you don't own a car and are going to rely solely on the public transportation, there's a few things you should know. First, you need to sign up for definitely a Presto card as this is just a little green card that allows you to load money and then every time you jump on a bus or a train, you just tap it to get your ride fare in. But often this comes with discounts every single ride. Now, if you don't have a Presto card, the average cost for a single adult bus ride ticket is about $3.25 to jump on the Hamilton Street rail car. But other than that, if you're looking to take the bus every single day, I'd recommend you get the monthly pass, which would only cost $115 approximately. And then if you're looking to go city to city, while the Hamilton bus is great inside Hamilton, if you're going to city city, you need to use the GO train. In particular, you're going to have the GO buses where you can find a wide variety of different GO bus stops throughout Hamilton. And for example, if you were to take a GO bus from McMaster to square one, the single round trip for an adult is about $12. Whereas if you were to take the GO train from Aldershot GO to Union Station, it's going to cost you about $14 for that single trip. 
Then before we jump into the housing, some other just basic living expenses you should think about when living in Hamilton is first your phone bill. Typically you can get between 50 and $70 a month for unlimited calling and about 10 gigs of data. And if you have young kids, you definitely don't want to forget to budget in childcare as most full-time daycares will cost between 50 and $70 a day per kid. And then if you're looking for before and after school care, that typically is going to cost between 15 and $20 per day per kid. Then if you're like me and love getting that workout in, you have a wide variety of different options to choose from at different price points. As you have the cheapest option, which is fit for less, which is only $15 a month. Then you have the middle tier like Good Life, charging between 50 and $80 a month, depending on your package. And then if you're looking for some more specialized gyms like hot yoga or CrossFit, you can find these gyms costing between 120 to up to $200 per month month. Now, regardless, if you're thinking about buying and renting, some other expenses you should plan are your household expenses. As on average, the typical hydro bill in Hamilton is about $95 per month and definitely can increase as you increase your electricity usage with your AC blasting outside during those hot, hot months in July and August when it's like 30 outside. But other than that, another typical bill is your gas bill costing about $45 to $50 a month which is really used to just heat your home and possibly cook with. Then the average water bill in Hamilton is about $65 a month. Now, of course, these are just general estimates that are going to vary depending on where you live and what your usage looks like. But let's now discuss the biggest expense you're going to have with your household, which is just the cost of buying that house. Now, of course, this price is going to vary as well, depending on what you're looking for and where you're looking for it. So let's first discuss the what. So if you're looking for a detached home in Hamilton, the median price for all of 2022 so far is $920,000. However, as you you can see on this graph here of all these sales that have taken place in Hamilton for the year, you can find the majority of detached homes selling between 700 to $1.25 million. Then if you're looking for more of a townhome, the median price for all of 2022 is $810,000. Now here you can see where the total amount of townhomes have sold throughout Hamilton. However, if you break this graph down and separate it from condo townhomes to freehold townhomes, this is what the graphs are going to look like. As you can see, condo townhomes are going to be slightly a bit more affordable with the majority of them selling between $600,000 and $900,000 as the majority of freehold townhomes sold between $700,000 and $1 million. Then as for condos, the median price for all of 2022 is $570,000. And as you can see here, the majority of condo sales are between $400,000 and $700,000. Now, of course, these are general estimates. If you're interested in learning more about exactly what it's going to cost to buy the real estate you're looking for, feel free to send me a message. I'd be happy to do you a free market analysis based on your exact search criteria. But if you're looking for where are the most affordable areas in Hamilton, the next video I'd recommend you go check out is my video going over exactly that, breaking down the most expensive and the most affordable areas so you know where you should focus on buying real estate in Hamilton. So you can check out that video right here. And other than that, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you off in the next video.